Welcome to Alexandra TV. I am Alexandra Villahuel Abrego and thank you so much for tuning in. Can you guys believe that it's already the end of the month of November and soon we will be beginning the month of December, which is the last month of the year. Next thing you know, we're all going to be celebrating the New Year's. 2013 really is coming to an end. And I know that there's a lot of people out there to whom New Year's represents new opportunities, new beginnings, new projects new dreams, new goals. And if you're part of those people, if you're part of the people who are already starting to work on your New Year's resolutions, well, I congratulate you. See, a lot of people are going to wait until December 31st to begin. You know, on December 31st, they're going to sit down and say, okay, so what am I going to do this year? But see, if you wait until December 31st, it's going to be too late. You need to start taking action now. You need to start taking action today. And this is what this video and today's topic is about. It's about taking action. More precisely about how to create a plan of action. For the past few years, I've been teaching a lot of people how to create their own plan of actions, whether it's to start a business or to reach their goals and dreams, whatever it is. And of course, there's more, uh, not to say complicated, but more complex uh, plans of actions that I could teach you how to create. But today, I really want to teach you how to create a very simple easy yet effective plan of action. So today you're going to be able to learn how you can really create a plan of action for your dreams, goals, uh, projects for 2014 so that you start uh, the year on a great note. So let's begin. So the first thing that I want you to do is I just want you to take a pen and a paper, actually two papers because you're going to need two. What you're going to do is on top of the first paper, you're going to write what your goal is for 2014. Now you're probably going to say, well, I have a lot of goals. I have a lot of dreams. I have a lot of projects. But let's just begin with one because after that you're going to see that you can do this with all of your other goals and projects basically. So just write what your first goal for 2014 is on top of the paper. The second thing that you're going to do on that same sheet of paper is you're going to write what are the steps to achieving that goal. You see a lot of people are going to have dreams but a dream without uh, steps on how to get there is just going to stay a dream and you're just going to be daydreaming. A dream which has steps and you know exactly where you're going and what you're doing, that's when dreams become true. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to write down what the steps are. Let's say, for example, if you want to begin a business, you want to start a business in 2014, that's your goal, that's your dream. Well, there's many steps to that. See, a lot of people, they're not even going to write down what their dream and their goal is. And for the other half of people, they're going to write it down, but they're not going to do anything else. So you need to write the steps. So, you know, when you start a business, you have to register the business. You have to maybe register the trademarks, the copyrights, whatever it is. After that, maybe you have to find an office. Maybe you have to find your first employees. Maybe you have to create a business plan. There's a lot of steps that come with you uh, having your own business in 2014. You know, you can just say, okay, I'm going to have my own business and that's it. You need to know exactly what you're going to have to do in order to get and achieve that goal and that dream. So that's going to be the first step, basically. Taking the first sheet of paper, you're going to write down what your big goal is on top of the paper and after that you're going to write all of the imaginable steps that you're going to have to go through in order to get there. So that's the first thing that you're going to do. On the second paper, what you're going to do is that you're going to divide that sheet of paper in 12 different boxes. So you're going to separate it in three and then after that in four and it's going to have uh, 12 different boxes on each box. So on top of each box, you're going to write a month. So you're going to write January, February, March, blah, 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 12 months. Now what's going to happen is that you're going to take the steps that are on your first sheet of paper and you're going to put them basically on what month they have to be. So if let's say you need to register the business, maybe you could do that in February. If you need to register the trademarks, maybe you can do that in March. If you need to, uh, uh, find an office. Maybe you can do it in July because that's when the list is. So basically you're going to take all of the steps and you're going to put them on which month you are going to do that step and you have to do it. That's really uh, the, the most important part basically because if you write it down and as the year of 2014 uh, begins and you start to not do anything, well all of this is for nothing. So you have to take all of the steps. You're going to put them on the second sheet of paper and you're going to know exactly what you're going to be doing on what month. You can even take it a step forward. Me, what I like to do is I like to divide my year in 52 weeks. So I take uh, whatever goal I have, I write all of the steps and I put for each week of the year what it is that I'm going to do, which is going to make me go uh, closer, get closer to that goal, to that dream. And like that, it's much easier. But of course, if you prefer to just do it by month, it's a lot more simple sometimes. 
it's a little more complicated to do it in 52 different uh, weeks and to know exactly what you're gonna be doing. So you can start with the months. But this is the most simple, the most easy, yet most effective way of creating a plan of action. A real plan of action, it has a lot more things that you have to do with a real plan of action. You have to uh, write what your resources are, what the, uh, what the problem, potential problems, um, or roadblocks that there could be. Basically, there's a lot of different things that you do with a real plan of action. But this one, if you want to do something easy, something quick, but something effective, this is really what you need. If you found that this video served you and you like this kind of topic and you want to know more about how to organize and plan and basically make 2014 the greatest year of your life, well, I invite you to click on the link which is going to appear somewhere on the screen right now or down on the description below this video. There's also the same link. And this is going to bring you basically to my new 2014 ABA success workbook and planner that I've created and that I am releasing today. It will be only available for a limited time and basically what it is, is a 50 page workbook and planner that is going to guide you and is going to help you to make 2014 the best year really of your life. In this workbook of 50 pages, you're going to find all of the templates that I use for my personal life and for my business as well uh, that I've used in the past to make all my dreams and my goals become a reality and that I still use today whenever I have a project, whenever there's something going on and I need to basically uh, organize everything and plan everything, it's all of the templates that I have. Not only will you have a lot and all of the templates that I use in my personal and professional life, but in that 50 page workbook, you will also find uh, different guides basically on what you can do and the steps that you can take whenever you have a goal, whenever you have a dream, uh, what are the different things that you have to do in order to get there. I think that uh, for the past year I believe I've been talking more and more about organization and planning and I know that you guys have been uh, asking me to make more videos about this uh, I know on my Instagram page I've shared a lot of pictures about my uh, templates of the papers that I've used and it's things that I've created uh, for my business and for myself and a lot of you guys have asked me where can I get that well it's all gonna be in the 2014 success uh, workbook and planner the ABA success workbook and planner so I really hope that you're gonna get it and I hope that you're gonna enjoy it I'm sure it will definitely change your year, basically make your year the best year of your life. And it's going to allow you to make all of your goals become a reality. Because believe me, that to make a goal, a dream, an ambition, anything that you have in mind become a reality, you really need to have a plan and you need to be organized. If I would have never had a plan when it comes to my business, my book, everything that I've accomplished today, well, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in today at all. So I really invite you to go down on the description, uh, down on this video on the link or the link that appears right now on the screen to have more information. Uh, so that is it for today. Once again, my name is Alexandra Villajuel-Abergo and we'll see each other next week. Bye-bye.